Were you instrumental in actually pushing a song to the forefront? Travelers, we help boss travelers. Anything that I wanted from Vice Cartel, me have to go up at Dan Carlyo. They don't know. Me say, all right, we give my hand shit. They need the money still, but they say, me trust Cartel. At the last time, not me see Cartel. Me start the sound say, Stevie Wonder, Arabella Fante, Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton. Everybody who is somebody. All right, well, welcome back, Mr. Cassette Jones. Listen, in part one, we had an epic conversation talking about the journey of the cassettes, how you even got into the business, some crazy stories in the business and all that good stuff there. And where we last ended up was now, this is what I call basically getting into the mixtape part of your career now, where you're linking up with artists, you're getting jingles, you're putting out the um, mixtape records and stuff like that. So then let's continue from here on in that. All right, Tom. So just show it. Which part you want to start from? There's so much angles to this. I just you feel say which part. You know, I mean, they have yeah. to answer the question. And that's ask them. 100%. All right. So then now, who was the first set of artists that you started to really connect with when you started to put out these mixtapes now? The Rakas mixtapes. All right. Starting with the Rakas mixtape, the first set of artists was Alekiat. Um, General B, Penny Irie, Baby Brown. Them, there was the first four artists them way. Make, make me say, oh, me get some dub from where me can say put pan a mixtape. Then there was the first four. Mm -hmm. And then it blossomed into Scare Them Crow. Elephant Man, Ari Tadla, Nitty Kochi, Boom Dynamite, Angel Doulas, Scare Them Two, Bramwell, Daily Bread. Um, yeah, that, that was the Scare Them Two. Then you have Chuck Fender. Then you have Richie Spice, Anthony Cruz. Uh, Dutty Cub Crew, uh, Lugaman, Chicken, Sean Paul, Kid Corrup, then Greg Hines, Red Square, Spraga Benz, uh, just to name a few, you know what I mean? Me, 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 like, so much you have um quenched uh no i remember them peter lied mm -hmm. um for right now that's that off at the top of me you know it's a lot but them they're like you know but that was at the time was like a, a big rasta mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so at that time it was like a lot of dubs and jingles you were getting, you weren't actually putting out like a best of anybody yet at this time here now. All right. So you're okay. I said, thing did I got them time. Eh? You make what's in demand. Like the, the Rockers compilation was a compilation that consists of all of the rhythm them way that go on at the time. So heartbeat rhythm, um, sick rhythm, um, North Monday rhythm, um, Punani rhythm, Love Punani rhythm, Duck rhythm, uh, like I speak that a Studio 2000 are a showtime if I DF Kelly them, are a cellular phone that a Bobby Digital are King Jammies are a, a bada bada or a joint or whatever it is at the time. Tony Kelly set a rhythm then at the time. You just, for you are the instrumental, I, the juggling bad, you know, add your two cents to it. You know what I mean? So if you have 10 songs upon the rhythm, you have three artists where you have upon your list of people and where you vice for add to that. And them people, you know, you, if it's a girl art, like it's an artist who sing a whole pa girl song, you fit it right where 
the topic pan girl sentence there. If it's a, uh, if, if, if it's a, like a, 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 like a war set a song, like a class set a song, you put it amongst the man where I deal with a whole pa war vibes type of thing. So I uh, saw so that did stay. So the best off now, the best off never need no, no dubs. The best off did consist of like a Glenn Washington or, uh, or, uh, Gregory Isaacs or uh, Dennis Brown or uh, Bob Man, them people you want the best of because them have so much songs. And uh, if I overseas now, it's like a, a Kenny Rogers or a Luther Vandross or a Peebo Bryson or the Manhattans or the Shy Lights or you know what I mean? That type of thing, Jerry Butler, Otis Redding, and them they make the best of. But with the juggling now, as me explain to you. You try add to what's already there for highlight your set of artists then. Mm. Mm -hmm. Who you're linking with directly. So you're linking with mm. everybody here now. So then how do you even get introduced and even linked with now Vibes Cartel? Because I know that's one of your more famous mixes that you'd put out there. Well, it's a Vibes Cartel now. Vibes Cartel is... Mm. 1998. Let me just look on them data for make sure, because I don't want to tell you no foolishness, you know. Mm -hmm. 98 champion in action. Um, Fort Clarence. My daddy. And you know, say, them stage show, you know, you have opening acts. And the opening acts. Basically, um, walk the show until the bigger, the big guns them forward. You know what I mean? So, you know, them just did it like a warm up the place and you don't know, entertain people until the bigger heads them forward and until the venue, you know, understand like full up and then the main people them start come on stage after that. So, 98 um champion in action you had a a three member coup guy was a vice cartel was a coup first it was him and two singer mm -hmm. and i was there and me as a man me like metaphors and me like me like cleverness in a rhyming so my daddy and you don't know where i record everything and them set a you tell them it, how them actually do them thing is like the, the vocalist them sing saying and cartel they are harmonize the same song them and then him forward in come sing the verse them but the verse them where we are here is almost like 16 and 32 bars and 48 bars and way me that sing about at the time uh, economics, the man I sing about. I may never hear nothing like that yet. When you think about them type of like lyrics structure, you think about a Papa San or a Lieutenant Stitchy. Not to say, or a, a Spraga Benz or a Ward 21, but Ward 21 never had a picture yet at that time. Or them just uh, embark on the scene. And oh, me here. Adibantan I deal with the lyrics. I mean that talk about cause them time they have done. Mm -hmm. So I notice them things. So in any way you have anything we have to do with heights or respect and some superior, I just say put Dodos name. Anyway, you have opposition, I just say put in name. And in my talk about economics in the lyrics and how my rhyme is almost like I would a boy, like I would a man a type of thing. You know, me never hear that yet. So yeah, me, me take my back and me and say, you know, them them rather. Well, if I this the future DJ thing look like DJ thing look good. Mm -hmm. So me record when me I record, me make me volumes them part one, two, and three, and you don't know me add them to it at the end of our part four or you don't know because them are still young artists and the water fort and have a conversation, you know, regular commentary about the show them and I talk to a brother named Seti Wien. So I say, yo, go over champion in action and I say, three you come on the stage and yo, the man, them mash up the place. Them name Vibes Cartel. The man say, well, Vibes who? 
Yeah, man. All right, Ron. Adi Bantan, the DJ. I run the road, I say, I'm living up. I say, same time, my father forward out. I must say, yeah, man, I run the same living, man, blah, blah. So, say to you and say, oh, I'm going to call him, man. Bring him forward. No, me, that they look upon this, brother, yeah. Me, he's almost like starstruck. But him not turn star yet. But me, I see where my go turn into. Because if it. this, yeah, because if this are the initial stage and him so witty, when him touch main screen, uh, mainstream, him I go be like a force for reckon with. Mm -hmm. So me I say, yo, me introduce myself. You don't know my name, Cassette Jones. He say, me know you, man. And you don't know, you know, me have some mixed tape me I put out and you know me that like if you could have been a guest for a couple of them next to you. I agree a long time. So we make a link and we go to Arrows the next year. Our voice, nine song. We vice. I don't remember them exactly, but I like a copper for the, a little bit of copper for the Prime Minister. No, a, cap, a little bit of copper for the Councillor. And next one, one of them I make nines and tell them some better than them and girls like mine and guns like mine and maths automatic and a uh, couple more. So War this organizer. Was, this was the crew you had voiced or you had just voiced no, him at no, this time? No, 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 no. Him alone. Mm -hmm. Him alone. You know, that the link we make was uh, him alone. And this is a day after the conversation. So champion in action keep the Sunday. Or the Saturday, mm -hmm. we have the conversation on the Sunday and Monday with Vice. So this is like two, two days after the show. Me and me start working with him immediately after that. Mm -hmm. And then it start turning on every week thing. So me now start dig up like the jam, the Jammies catalog now, like the Chinatown and the Love Punani Bad and the Duck Rhythm them and the Punani Rhythm. You know where the anthem them will come from, Jammies, and me I say. Me need for put some of the song them we have and them reading mm -hmm. and then him used to bring songs where him record whenever release come to me and say yo make we put that thing together so it start work it, it work away now in the my yard in the morning till in the night and me drop him back on water food I was sitting and work for a mix so vibes card tell four first mixtapes and me and me and him actually put them together. You know, because I have an interest for like, like computer thing, like the software we used to use SoundForge at the time. I have an interest in that. And, you know, me did have a little makeshift sound system and it, we do two little things and it, we could have done a little vice in upon it. So a greater poor moment live at the time. So me will say, yo, you go into the room and put him in the room and my pan one channel left and of the, the, the device, the next channel, and we're not the door, so. And that's the signal for start. Well, they don't know a vice cartel up to the time, blah, 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 up to the time at the time. That was the mm. slang where my use. And then, you don't know, run with him and with him start running and tell them some about that and them, real bad man. And when it done now, two way have the split track, in the forward out now, love put on the bad with him. And we are run it back and we are run it to at that machine and in there they are mix it. Mix it down, and if it no sound good, we just wipe it up. But it don't record already, so we try again. Mm -hmm. And we try, try, try until we get a somewhat type of good mix or tight. And we just put it, tell them so we're better than them, mix one. And then so on and so on, send on and all of them things that we put them together. And when they mix them on it, no, we just strategically sit down. Because by the time I'm gone, I'm here, I strategically sit down and I say, all right, then you have to put that song here. Mm -hmm at the end of the mix, I mean, I go put it right before Bounty Killer, because Bounty Killer are like up here, so. Mm -hmm. This are you there and how my rhyme sound similar and sound bad almost the same. Mm -hmm. So you don't know it's a good way to pair them up. So you will play it before the Bounty Killer. But guess what, you play that song after all 10 minutes. Yeah. Well, you don't know about it's cartel, you don't know about you know, Bossy Askel and Boy Bird run like pastel and him have a bad rhyme. And him first start do the intro rhyme them, you know. Him a rhyme from in at the intro, you know. You think say, it's a song and that's another song. That's just the intro of the song, you know. So if I eight bar before the rhythm really start, I eight bar him a rhyme I come right down in it. Mm. I saw we used to do it, you know. And 
you know, we start forge friendships and me have him as like a strong, like a strong support for what me I do now and I be a thing like bulb go off in the head now and me I say, yo, you know what? Me now to pray say, every good thing come to an end. So me did the advice is bag of dub, 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 dub. And now I say, yo, this is you tell go bust, you know. I better you get some 45 now and some of them are really me ask spend pan. All them money you spend pan studio time. I better you get two reading bill and them things. I mean, I pre that. You weren't thinking that so, way at that time. No, 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 no. I think this is no way, no way near this. Mm -hmm. So here comes 2000 and... 2001, mm -hmm. 2001, or 2002, I think. 2002, Sting. 2002, Sting. Me, Rowan, Avil, Rowan, that time, the Avil, I do the whole for footwork. Mm -hmm. You see that white suit, the way you see him, have a look like Abraham Lincoln with the bucket at him of the cane. Mm hmm. And him touch his stage and he say, what a food? And him step out, look like Abraham Lincoln in a white. I have this key and they pan. tell them, say, my brother than them, and the whole place a bun down. Mm -hmm. Right there, some me know, say, yo, you can't stop that youth there. So, December 26, the man a walk. Mm -hmm. December 27, in drive, come on my heart. <laughs> Boss. Yeah, four on them by one go. Mm. One go. You okay. know what I mean? But before you even go too far, because remember, you met them as a crew. So what whatever happened to the other two people that was in the crew at this time here now? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. It seemed like whatever the arrangement was between him and Butler, which I can't speak on because I don't know about it, Mm -hmm. He actually took the name Vibes Cartel and encompassed everything what the two vocalists them used to do. Because everything what them used to do, I him used to write everything for them. Okay. So him non to him basically take on the role of vocalist and DJ. Mm -hmm. And he take the name of everything. Not knowing, me don't know if I him didn't even name the crew. So him feeling tight because him can take everything. But you know, me don't know. I don't know. I don't know what became of the, the, the two vocalists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At that time there. So you said after Sting now, he driving came check you know. Now you know yeah, man. this is vibes cartel now. Yeah, he has arrived. Mm -hmm. Has arrived fully. And we kept working on projects. Kept working on projects, but then <laughs> The arrangement change. So here the arrangement now. Anything that I wanted from Vice Cartel, me have to go up at Dan Carleon. Because the man thing, the level up now. So I did so the traffic I go. And it nearer than Portmore. So yeah, you go up there now, you see Japanese, you see Chinese, you see sound system from global. So now you join the list of people who have to wait in a line just like everybody else. You realize, I guess you realize that this man is a boss now, you know. Mm -hmm. And access to him is almost like it's a get, you have to make an appointment now. She said, What I go on? In the right there, so, and you have to go through like 10 months for reaching. She said, What I go on? Somebody where you used to sit down with, you have to make an appointment now. She said, What I go on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was the meeting they work with and then what he became. Mm -hmm. And then after a while the friendship start get you don't know, scarce, you know, because him have things we must deal with and he's no longer at my disposal. We can just sit down and you don't know, man boss now, so man busy, so it, it, it take it time and take it time and take it time until it frizzle out. The last time I saw Vice Cartel was uh, what we can what we work together was we that work on from time to time, mixed up with Max Glazer from Federation, so okay. 
him bring Max Glazer them come over the yard. Cause by them time you know, my bridging when he belly. Enough time I do interview and I left out that name and my need for make it. I have youth when he belly. I grow with them youth. Them youth was like the youth them way. Make we get all pass for go certain places at Portmore. And if we have problem with the peers or go on like them, then they are the man them we take. It's like a big brother figure. Okay, you're around with me. Come in, belly. When them see belly, them cut and gone with them. Go. They nobody in no wire with it. So belly migrated, came back to Jamaica, came to the house. And when belly came to the house, him actually see me uh, put my thing together. Me uh, do graphics, me uh, do editing, me uh, do compilation, me uh, do duplication, and me uh, do distribution. And he was like, I can't believe so I'm a little brother of this. And everything I do like right or so. so this is an important story. Mm -hmm. May I go, go off a little bit of a tangent, but it all come back together. Good to go. All right. So, when me a youth, me tell you somebody have klepto problem. <laughs> Man start the laughing again. So, me used to rob my mother. So, my mother used to keep a lot of like change in her bag. So, me used to rob her money. Me used to buy kite and one bag of things. So, when me thief the money now, me did always need somewhere for stash it. So my neighbor now, when he is a lone star, them time, anybody who live at Portmore know they have a thing when he is Zaza grass. Zaza is a, is a, bra, is a type of, is a, is, a, is a species of grass where people plant at any yard. This, where you use them thing, your thing look like it. Yeah, nice, landscaping look, it never look better. Neat. Zaza grass. So anyway, you have pavement, like a walkway, and you have Zaza grass where you're growing on your lawn, it grow over the pavement. So when me used to know, when me thief the money, me put the money under the grass, lift up the, the grass, the flap, and put the grass so over there, so. And mm -hmm. a, a, a silver, so it, the rain now do nothing to it. So one day, me know me rub around a good, $30 worth of silver, you know. Me this money now for go buy a kite. So I jump the fence and go over Mr. Lone Star Yard. Flip up the grass. No money. I say, I want to go and come like the gong. And I am the money. Yo. Like, everything we put there, so it just gone. When I tell me, I say, you know, Sir Jones, I make no sense. It come like I got to be there, you know. If you tap take the people, that money, very. I that me a thing to myself, you know. Fast yeah. forward now. 2000. Belly come at Jamaica and me and him have a conversation. And the man say, yo, Jones, you remember the money that we used to put under the grass? I used to miss it. Man say, I me mean, used to take it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I <laughs> say, yo, my heart just start racing and I just bust out a laugh. Because I say, yo, I know I not lose my mind, you know. Me know me now lose my mind and I say, yo, you know much night. The money put on pot for me and my family. Hmm. Cause we never have it. When you are thief that money, they may have look by you through my window. <laughs> and as you put that money there, and that I put on dinner, and that I put on lunch, and that I put on <coughs> breakfast, we uh. so I look by me and him say, Where you want for your studio for bring it to the next level? I mean, oh, I didn't know. And them time, I go to Renaissance, I go up to Dr. J them every day, and they have one Roland portable machine. And I say, yo, me, me get back to you. I circle Dr. J. I, mean, I say, Dr. J, I'm bridging forward, back from Friday night. I say, yo, what I need to upgrade my studio. You know, I want one of them machines. Yeah. The man say, yo, I go on. Don't buy this one. Buy the bigger one. So he said, it was a Roland 1824. So like a 24 track, 24 virtual track. Mm -hmm. Say, how much feet? Say, 2,500. Circle my bridging on. He said, I think they were asking me for um, 
I know what I want now. I say, what? So I tell him, so, yo, I want one of them roll on 18, 24 there. Man, so how much feet? And I tell him, where am I there now? I let them start trimble now like me. I say, oh, me, I got ask this money for so much money. Like, it, it feel weird. Mm -hmm. Because it's a, a mortgage money they may over for him. 100%. The man, I say, Yo, talk, no man, cause say him talk. Come on, no man. And then I say, yo, um, 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 they, they can't find them. Yo, me just say, yo, you know, I say, I, 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 I can't talk. I say, at $2,500 for the machine, you know. The man say, all right, then circle me a morning. But to him, answer me a nonchalant. I say, yeah, anything where you say, man. Anyway, me done so with me, I say. Me and him, they, they done reason, and me gone about more yet. Next man, he get a phone call, say, yo, come circle me. I'm going to circle him. The man threw a paper bag give me. I threw the paper bag give me. Looking at the paper bag, yo, my blood pressure go up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm count it off at the exact amount. Mm. And I said, where am I for pay back? Where am I for pay back? The man said, pay back. You're good, man, brother. I can't walk off, cold sweat, just say, wash me so. Me, you know, me, me, it's like me now, disbelieve. Me I say, people that I rode with, yes, for real, man. Mm -hmm. Anyway, boy, I had the fastest me ever drive go up town. Yo, 90 me a cut. Reach up there. <laughs> Circle Dr. J and give Dr. J the food and Dr. J bring in the portable studio and set up my yard now. Yo, my bedroom. Turn that in a studio and get AC and the whole works. And first time he invite cartel over there, he start bring people come over there. And we had a bag of work. And one day the man come over there and one compressor limiter get problem. And instead, me bypass the compressor limiter. And then when me done, me tie up the song a certain way, so it can play. Me have forced the issue and record to. The faulty equipment and it come out now. The it come out now. The, the recording and the Japanese. I just some Japanese with devices for them. They made the frowns, but him, him look past it. Mm -hmm. The next time him forward, me I learn for the user machine and we are record one mix one mix tape when him dance all over hip hop for you when him les. So we record the lead. We record one double track and me I record the next double track and light go away. And when light go away, when I turn on back the machine, me lose the second double track. The man get up out of the seat and give me a look. Hmm. Go through the door and when the man slam the door, me think the whole house I go pop down, you know. And the man go in his vehicle and stay in his vehicle and call Les and tell Les, say, yo, I'm ready. Mm. I never see back cartel until the Federation next year. By them time, yeah, me know the machine inside out. I say, hey, me now make no more mistake again. I me have it down, pack double track, ad libs, this and that and the third. Mm -hmm. So I bring Max Glazer come and Max Glazer say, yo, them are the rhythm them when I want. So him give me some regular commercial ready, man. Me did have one that when we get from up a jar, it have like cost cost ready, me have on taxi, it have on real rock, fiery, sling thing where you have the 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 the, 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 the uh, it's split where you have the, the freeze on one side and the bass on one side, so you can't you can't well, you, you can't manipulate it. Wicked mm -hmm. wicked. So anyway, vice that mixed tape then. When we have mixed them down now, we have one little gadget Dr. J give me where it's like a turnable resistor with a card on it. I will run that with the rhythm there. So you see, every time him chat, I saw mixed down like <laughs> Yo, Max Glazer, yeah, them want to jap out of me. They never see nothing like that yet. <laughs> me impressed them, man. And when we done work, we did I look for money now. Cartel say, yo, you an idiot. A big mixtape man of foreign like yourself. Network. Mm. Where you get pay now, it can't buy where you actually get if you're an him forge a friendship. Him teach me that. Mm. So me and Max Glazer, 
You don't know. I say, all right, we give him a handshake. But they need the money still, but I said, my trust God tell so. You know, this man that got foreign and the man send back the, the sleeve them and the mixtape. And when I hear about the work, what I do, I say, can my voice the all over the mixtape? You know? From time, it's a red and black mixtape and of my course. voice the all over. Mm-hmm. All over. The, that's the one where Cartel's face is big on the, the yeah. cover of the of the CD. Of yeah. Of course, man. Mm-hmm. My yard uh, that doing that studio there. Studio there. At the last time that Mr. Cartel was the federal. At the last CD. time, yeah, at the last interaction we had. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, eh, that are the whole was story the, about me and Cartel. Was it because he became so big, or is just you guys were just doing on two different paths? What had happened why you guys just didn't really link back at that time there again? The man turned a giant, man. So, me not, me, me is a mustard seed, man. A giant I have nothing to do with the mustard seed, man. You understand? Mm-hmm. You understand? It, 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 it's, it, it's, it's, it's okay. You know, because it's like a grass and tree start from the same place, but it's a difference because a grass grow this high and the tree grow that high. So after it, 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 it outgrew the friendship. Because mm-hmm. I never have nothing for half of him more than good reasoning. And, and he passed that stage, you know, and money him a look now. And my... We did have jinglings and him start make dollars. So, you know them things they go already. You know, but when this two upon me, me and Max Glazer have a relationship to this day where we him, 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 him give me information upon the same machine and give me an effects board for the same machine where I could have bring me level up in engineering and them things there. So, it was a good connection make through that. So, I still benefit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you know what's so crazy about that is, remember, you just went to go record the show. You seen a talent that looks so wild with three of them. You're talking mm-hmm. about it. He just happened to be on the other, right down the road. You link with him. And the feeling to see him come from basically zero to turn mm-hmm. into a giant, and you knew this in your mind already. What was that mm-hmm. feeling like to actually see it actually come to pass that listen this man was just DJing what year but now he's a big giant what was that feeling like in yourself to really see it come to pass it's it was a reaffirmation for me it does confirm something when we know already like I have an eye and an ears for talent like mm-hmm. I learn engineering me are the best engineer I learn how to recommend people. I learn how to pitch certain ideas. I'm not the best one. Mm-hmm. But if I hear something, I know if it's a hit or a miss. Mm-hmm. If I see something, I know if it can work or not. Like with Sizzler. I have bridging a fine when I tell about Sizzler when Sizzler just make him first step. And I tell them, say, I go boss and him boss. Mm-hmm. Same thing with Chuck Fender. Come on, Jamaica. I say, yo, Chuck Fender go boss and Chuck Fender boss. The same thing with Richie Spice. I tell people about Richie Spice and him actually boss. I tell people about Elephant Man, which you see the talent, but you tell people who are not really familiar with certain things. So it kind of like far fetched. People in the industry, you have a lot of us. We can't spot the talent. That's why some of them are great producers and great managers and all of that. So I did have a high feed. So when I see him actually come to prominence and turn this big vibe scar, tell me, I said, boom, bad. But Jones, you know where I say type of thing. He's like, me never knew him that got turn so mega. Because he turn mega, you know. Mm. Man turn world boss, you know. You had giants before him, you know, who are still giants more than him, you know. But if you know, say, your peer turned from a regular civilian to world boss, you have to what type of thing, you know. So it build up your confidence for, for, for make you evil can see imperfections in an artist and know, say, you have the capability to make tweaks, to kind of put them in a similar path. I put them on a path of success because of previous engagement with other co-workers like Cartel and the rest of them. So 
it makes me feel, it just reaffirmed to myself, say, yo, you really have an eye and an ear for talent. That's, that's, that's what it did for me. For sure. And was there any other artist that you'd worked with as closely as you did with Cartel? Was there anybody else? We work with everybody who made Cartel, mm -hmm. you know, and what Cartel, I feel like I do the most grown work with. Mm -hmm. Elephant Man was already a big star. And Elephant Man, when, them that, when, when, when Elephant Man them got England for the first time and come back, and my star, him stop and say, pussy. Me rich now, pussy. <laughs> me have enough money now, pussy. See? Come on, go down the arrow, me give you some tune, man. Because you're not a blood clad tune, man. Because I want to see you, man. And I say, I bet. Because I drive Bima now, you know, I have a five series or a seven series. So, they left from scooter to a seven series. And me the glad for this star down there, you know. He, he born for greatness. So, every time me and him buck up, it was always a good rapport. Mm -hmm. You know, up until 2021, it's like me and Elephant Man always have a good rapport. We never invest as much time in a LA like Cartel, car Elephant did already establish. Cartel did have the potential, so you have to do the footwork, you know, for, for, for somebody like that. So, Ellie, Chuck Fender, Richie Spice. Anthony Cruz, me do work with them. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they made already the on them way for boss. You know? So just to name a few. But them few there, mm -hmm. Greg Hines. Me do whole power work with Greg Hines. But not as much as Cartel. Cartel. And again, just to see that the level where it came up to, and again, a lot of people don't realize as a cassette man and especially where you took it where it wasn't just okay you're recording dance putting them out where you actually built like a studio and you went more in depth with it we were basically the internet before the internet we were the distribution before there was any distribution we put in that type of groundwork so a lot of mm -hmm. things could happen through what we were doing at that time there that is so true what we are we are seeing now at the time we never see it as that because kill me dead, you know. Mm -hmm. We don't sell cassette up until this day, you know. CD, we don't sell that up until this day. We don't pay attention to evolution. What? Trust me. That's exactly how I feel. I couldn't, I stopped selling music in 2017. And in my mind, there was no end. I would, to this day, I felt like I would still be selling music for the next hundred years or however long I lived for. I didn't see any end. <laughs> To selling music bars. All right. So we share the same sentiments and um we start I tell you what reading start help me to stop think one track minded. Because when you're in a situation or in a, a feel or in a some line of work where if it's not like a, a absolute necessity for survival, mm -hmm. it's going to be obsolete after a while. Reading teach with them thing that we never know nothing about principle of business. We never know what was a business cycle. We never know about, you just know Supply and demand. Mm -hmm. You understand? You know, pre-evolution. Because when cassette phase are phased out and them come in with CD, I think that was going to be like the standard. But when I say CD, I get obsolete. And then you have MP3 and then all them things. I say, yo, automation really a, a mess up manual labor. You understand? And so... Being who we is, we are speak as a collective. For sure. But when I go talk about myself as an individual now, being who I am, I know that I can't get caught flat-footed like how oh, the music thing got me or caught me. Hmm. Before, 
you start make moves to kind of keep yourself relevant. So, kids start coming play. You realize, say, yo, oh, it's more than just a name. Mm -hmm. It's more than just popularity. It's more than just to guard the latest dance. It, 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 it requires way more than that. And you have a name now where surpass you as a person. Because your name get big, but your lifestyle now nah, match up. So where do you go from there when the rug get pulled from underneath you? So that one part in our life where when you have a reminisce, you have to bombard. You get nostalgic when you drive to country and you get your dance and you come back in and yeah, go home, go make your copy them. And when you see that, reach a point where people are buying music and then they may go record chat. Then they go up on their phone or their computer. Yeah, say, yo, okay. You know, reality just kick in your face and you wake up fast. You know, see you, you know, turn big journalist and uh, interview person. And me, you know, turn civil servant. Because we still have to survive regardless of what our passion were. You know what I mean? So... 100%. That's it in a nutshell, you know? 100% agree there, you know what I mean? Because you got to keep moving. Because as I said, when you're in it and things are moving mm -hmm. so fast and every mm -hmm. week stuff are coming in, you're not really mm -hmm. thinking of the next move. You're thinking this is the next move until the yeah. next, until you run into a wall where what my real wake up call was when you're selling music and then people started to talk about YouTube. Oh, this song on YouTube, okay, cool, you're paying attention, but you're not really paying too much attention. But when it really mm -hmm. smacked me in my face and really I had to look was when old people now started talking about this YouTube and that's where they could get their gospel and stuff. That right mm -hmm. there was my wake up call. I said, okay, you know what? This is dead real right now. Yeah, people like mm -hmm. to come see you. They like to come talk to you. They like to shake your hand. They like to buy the CDs. But this thing is bigger than you at this point right now. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, you know, it, it's it's it, it made me it made me feel it, it's it's it, it it close to home. Mm-hmm. Kind of thing where me all near to my heart, me call it home. And the music, even with the prominence, even with the music industry. Worldwide, make with even said Jamaica. Worldwide, my come here and all of them record shop the way me used to go go buy my supply. Me see them basically fall. They, they them fall like rock and soul fall. You understand? Park Heights record fall. Them start sell other things. Aquarius them is no longer. It's just a memory. You know what I mean? It's like when you start see them thing, you know, you say yo. Oh man, like <laughs> so it me, me start to say even before YouTube, me start to say, yo, um the music are evolving or something where it are gonna have many players and the the, the market value I got actually like plummet. Cause when we start to music start sell for a dollar. Mm. One song for a dollar. I say, you know what? You need to go, go for the certificate, you know. <laughs> and go look at real work. God, mm. this thing is not work. You know, so. Mm. I still love it. You know, I still collect music. I still collect music like it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. I still have a ear for music. I still have a ear for talent. I still see where our help could have helped in an artist development. This see where our help could have still helped them pan compilation. This mm -hmm. see where our help could have bought some more or some new sound. We say our help could have actually still keep the line of current affairs where it have to do with sound upon the people and fingertips. We see our absence basically cut them there. Because we now do it no more. It's a lot of, it's, it's, a, it's a ripple effect. It affects a lot of things. For sure. So it wasn't just us. 
it affects a lot of things. So now we're there now and we are look back and we see where our contributions were. It's like you have a new found respect for what you used to do. And you basically that do a makeshift version of major distributions. And I know when I do it, I say, John, you know, you have so much work put in. And when we look on CD sleeves and when we look on dance and cassette and you just so caught up in the movie, like, as you say, you think it's going to be to this day. Mm -hmm. You know, so where we go from here, we start basically just upload them and you feel like we're going to create a virtual shop online and not for sale, but where them can actually go, go listen. Mm -hmm. Like where it used to be like, which era, whether it be 80s, 90s, 2000s, early 2000s, like a, like a virtual uh, um, museum. How did it come down to? Yeah. Like a virtual museum. I just, that's all. We need, we feel where a selector is a song like early 90s. Yeah. Can I say Jones that come or just go up on YouTube and look up for thing and you can't find it because I just said the thing reach. 100%. You Even know? with you back there doing your stuff, when you were doing, when CDs now had overcome cassettes, were, were you putting, were you still doing a lot of dances or you started to make more mixes more than dances at one time? Mixes. My mind. So, the mixes took over the dances at one time. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Because that it come down to and you, 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 you have the knowledge now for compile some of the same thing them where you use to source like the Black Chinese and the Vendetta and the Bad Influence and the, God, then there was like the the, the, the sort after thing now, you know, where you hear Dan them put a Vendetta mix together, you hear a black Chinese you know, and them a fly the song them pan some different, different rhythm and you, you never know, say, could I, and where you start learn how to do that now, it's like the interest for God to dance versus the profit margin between a dance versus a mixtape. A mixtape outweigh that, so you start gravitate towards that. And then me now, but I start dive deeper. We start learn about engineering on some professional level. You know, Dr. J was like the man, and me was like the fly on the wall or the sponge, and me soak up everything, like just a soak, a soak, a soak, a soak. And when it all came crashing down, it's like, that party always bring me to tears, but I managed to stop crying. My life went to, to destitution. Mm. Everything that I had, I started to lose them one one. Like, my car, them, bailiff took them. You understand? Me used to have my location on crossroad because we are hide. Because they would have like a witch on through me. You understand, me lose crossroad. You understand, me employ them gone one by one. You understand, can't pay utilities from the yard. Can't pay water. You understand, me have to screw on hose for my neighbor them pipe for flush my toilet. You understand, it, it went down to dirt where, you understand, like, it, it, reality kick in your face one way and my spliff them start getting longer and I start hear people attack a bag of things like me get called every name in the book just because I wasn't one for a teller one when I got you because of the wake up call that I had but my one was more visible to a lot because me was like a giant so a giant come right down to basic living Jamaicans are going to start put titles to it and anything with them narrative where they want attached to it. So you went from a giant to a shadow of your former self. And 2006, right. yeah, 2006, May 2006, that was the end of the whole Cassette Jones era. 
okay, but before we even get to 06 is like, you said that everything came crashing down. Exactly what was, how did everything start to come crashing down and the implosion in the first place? All right. Simple, simple. If you want to make your money and I put it down to maintain yourselves, just necessities, keep yourself sustained. You see, the instant you stop making money, you are going to start use up what you already made. Mm-hmm. And after a while, because whenever I wasn't a millionaire, the money they are going to get depleted. So when that money depleted, everything that you had as a lifestyle, you're not going to maintain. So it happened slowly. It started happening when Light Stanberry and the prominent producer of them formed an alliance and then brought in the copyright infringement law. And then me stopped go dance and start learn engineering. And then the engineering, me never have enough clothes for have an up and running studio where my studio and my studio time, me can live off of that. It's like no one again. So you start work with the up and coming artists and you're more I do like artist development. By the end of the day, you use electricity. So if you now make back no money from where you do, I just a matter of time before that they like they cut off. Mm-hmm. You understand? You need water supply. After a while, you can't pay water. Your water go cut off. So you still are hang on to what used to be. And you basically are diminished in front of everybody. So is when it finally caught up, it was 2006. So it was gradually like over a four year period. But in the back of your mind, you feel like you can reinvent yourself. So you go against evolution and it never worked out. So it took me up until 2006 to realize, hey, yo, it's the last cause in a king. And if it does call it a day. Because at this time, because you said that the mixes started to outweigh the dances and stuff. So did you really realize that there was, when you're putting out these mixes and stuff, that it was really copyright? Or in your mind, it was the same thing like the dances. So I'm just putting out music per se. Or did you really realize what you were doing at that time there? No, sir. And then again, we feel like we can't, we can't elude authority. But when time me they get a call from Merton, dance a reggae that come and say, yo, you know what I say? The police them just run to my house. And the man them take out every piece of equipment and all of my master them. And before them go through the door, them tell them, say, yo, you hear me? You know what I say, Jones? You know big of them? You know Ninja? And him say, yeah, man say, yo, are them next. So that was enough. Where you start take away yourself. Mm-hmm. You start hiding. Let me tell you, we're going to hide in. But if me down my yard and just a record arts and them things, there's nothing for them come claim. Me not that road I sell nothing. But me not make no money off of my new found passion. Or when me I try to capitalize upon. So I just a matter of time before that, that, that ended also. So even if it was, they didn't care if it was dances, as long as it was just audio, that's what they came for? Just give me the yes, audio. Yes, sir. And the videos, period. Them are eradicated, man. If them take all of your supplies, man, and take all of your equipment, them are left you basically stranded, man. And then slap you with a $1.5 million child. Where you go get them the money there from, man? Remember one time we had tried to form an alliance with cassette, man, where you say we are a brother. And uh, one of my brethren get locked up, and I go to one of my brethren them. But now I call on him and say, yo, such man get locked up, and man say, hey, Sorry for you, I'm glad to say I me. So I say, yo, I go put that money together and be in. Man say, who? It's not my dear, man. I'm taking my car and gas my lad and I'm going to go by my vehicle. I'm going to be out in self, yeah, man. I just realize, yo, you hear me? No alliance today, I say, you know. Mm-hmm. No alliance are there, so no. So as if they say, you start getting a wake up call him, and it just a confirm to you more and more. Say, yo, this, mm-hmm. it's over, you know, my lad. This, we are, 
hold on to his over. It's almost like the Titanic. You see me, I hold on for the... Yeah, you yeah, hold on for the one piece of log, man. I have like a million miles before you got sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> But wasn't there wasn't there one time where producers were were almost giving the cassette man them the rhythm to send a road or that was just more more like a gray right. area type of thing? New era mm. producers like the Renaissance them you understand like the Dan Carly on them like the Bulby was the the oldest one we actually confirm or see say. Them you tell we I sell mixtape actually help out, mm -hmm. but then it gave birth to the walk foot man them, Pouchy. Man does a walk. Yeah, so you sell your CD them for four or five bills. A man basically have some of them there and copy them and just write on them with marker and I treat him myself a bills that one. If you have seventy dollar, you still get it too. You understand? So you have all that part there too. So even though they some of them new era producers had a gear to go ahead. Mm -hmm. It wasn't enough to basically put your back by your foot. At least me. Mm -hmm. Because my thing was like an underground industry. You understand? All of your money, like, done invested in a machine and stocks and them things. So when them men are sell, you still have a surplus. We you not sell off it. Mm -hmm. You understand? You took. Money from your saving with the expectation to invest and make back, and the money never go back. So you yeah, spend blind. Hmm. And you yeah, yeah, do it over and over and over, and things say eh, each time you have a better chance when really and truly you are the far and far and far from recovery. Is it? So it, it's like we try every angle. We catch after straw, brother. We start catch after straw. Mm -hmm. Myself, start catch after straw. And it was time for she, she lift clutch, but I wait for you to ask. Because even though it went down to destitution, mm -hmm. I felt rich mentally. The amount of knowledge we gather mm -hmm. from just learning how to create, learning how to manipulate sound, learning how to actually troubleshoot them thing them. Me never know where that don't fall that did that prepare me for. Mm. So, 2006, destitution. Mm -hmm. Any question after that, me can give you the rise. Yeah. Or the initial stage for the rise. So, are you for ask where you ask? But we're, me not rush nothing. We're about Because you might have there. other things where yes, you want to ask. But, you know, so you ask. Yes, man, because I remember earlier in the conversation, we we're talking about a stone love. And then you say you really got into the link with stone love. Was this pre 2006 or this was after 2006? Pre 2006. Let's get into the stone love situation. All right. Stone love now was uh, an end to our means in terms of insight. Stole over the standard, up here so. Quality. A business model for sound system. Mm -hmm. You learn about multiple, like equipment, multiple equipment of the same kind where you can send people go multiple places. That is a business model where we learn from Stone Love. You learn about equipment cycle. Every five months you have equipment come out. I never know them things that till I start linking with Stone Love. I never know about equipment brochure where them actually start showing you where a prototype of certain things look like before it even come down. You start learning about where them actually source them equipment from. You start learning know the point person them where you can go and go set up a payment arrangement type of thing so that the knowledge that where you get is just because association because the normal civilian never know this 
Them time they had the internet where you can put in a name or something and where you can source it and one million places come up. It's a know how or know who type of thing. So if you're not in that circle and if they don't rate you for even make you know, say, this is how it's done, you can't know. A link so, to the link. Yes. So, dance I keep a fire now, me have my visa. I come up, I there with slaughter them. I'm done there firing already. And I'm saying, yo, we are playing a Q club, you know, I just roll up. I have my deck, I go in and I tape, I send cassette guard Jamaica. Stone of a firing. I have label that Stone of New York, we keep last night and then get it three days from now through FedEx. A man start looking at you and say, yo, how are them boys? Like, how are you really going on? And then I start to have some customized casing, like SKB casing, and you start to learn about rock space, and you start to learn about one rack space, two rack space, and you know how much equipment can hold in a, a portable thing. You start to learn about a, a, a console, a customized where it have covering at the back and a just new trick jacker, quarter inch jacker, XLR jacker. You start to learn some things where it's not typical for just everybody for learn them thing. And then you start to know about learn about the, 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 the main people them like the Barney them now you start learn about some other people will come become family you know you start learn about sound manipulation or for manipulate sound or for take a signal and make it do this before it actually delay over the left you learn how for like use one piece of equipment for multiple functions. You start learning. It's, it's like a college. Ah, that is it. Stone was, Stone Love was like a college. Mm -hmm. A front seat insight into the know-how and the know-who. Mm -hmm. And how to do certain things. That, that's, that's, she, 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 she encompass everything when I say about them. Solo was like her college. Mm -hmm. And that was the really link. And did they approach you or you approached them or it was just so you were always around? So just come into the link at that time there. Somebody who is a link, a family to them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Every time certain conversation came up, I was recommended. Mm -hmm. Like if certain things we can't say, but if certain things fit, for do, them say, yo, you can link him. And me was like an interface between the link them. So if I'm a, I'm a man off left Jamaica, a man can say, yo, Joe, take care of that for me, I'm just do it. So I was like, me had, a t me, have a, me have a seat at the table type of thing. You understand that? You start to know Paul, like, you start to know Paul brother them, and you start to know the link them over that side, and then me all of the selector them good, me and Billy Slater, me and Nico was my bridging at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was like my bridging, you know, Richie Feelings was a, was a, a friend of mine also. You know, um, Diamond, Bill Cosby, um, G Fuss, you know, you, 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 you know where them money live, you know, you have conversation, your man call you, I say, yo, the dance here so tonight, you know, so it's, it's a family thing, so. Once them have go cross Flatbridge, you get a phone call. Once them have any dance where, I don't know, nah, but you get a phone call. You're, in, you're included. Mm -hmm. So you felt included because of the link. You know what I mean? So, yeah. For sure. Even before we get, we get out of this and go to 2006 here, is I know you're recording. You recorded enough dance with enough sound. Do you ever, were you instrumental in actually pushing a song to the forefront where, okay, we might not have really heard about this song, this song, but you found this song and really pushed it to the world. I can't, I can't take them, I can't take them tight. I can't take that authority to say that because more than I lied to you. I can't say me help like Renaissance, me help Papel them far. You understand? City Rock, me help papel them far. They can't talk about Stone Love because Stone Love them was Stone Love before me. Jam Rock them was Jam Rock before me. Renaissance, a young son and a my age group. So 
where you and them we have in common and the extra work where you put in for them, you can't say you help. Push them further, like far. You understand? You can say you help, like highlight certain selectors and certain talent and all of that round that sound there, but like the jar, we can't claim on a jar on a base of this. We were like one of many. We got a got tape. Bigger tough them now. Bigger tough them. Boss. City Rock. Mm. You understand? Cassette Ninja, them and bigger tough them. Boss. 4x4 four four nuclear. No, 4x4 four four Exodus and Exodus nuclear and Black Cat and BS of the C. Ninja them. And them do them, them, them. You can't take them things from them. Them do that. Mm -hmm. Turbo Phonic. No man can claim that. God. That come out when heavy cassette man active. So the whole of the band rush that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Those two sound, Renaissance, City Rock. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. even, even Turbo Phonic, because my thing was always, whenever we're selling dance, yeah, you had your staples, which was the Stone Loves, the Jaros, Bass Odyssey. We loved Renaissance. We're always pushing Renaissance. Yeah, the City Rocks and stuff would come by. But it was like, to me, Turbophonic was that sound that we found almost like a diamond in the rough where I said, yo, the first time we heard this, I said, I yeah, can't man. wait to send this Arua. And then we always, whenever we're sending for cassettes now, we always ask, yo, is there any new Turbophonic? Any new Turbophonic? Because I almost feel like we helped, again, it wouldn't be bust, but discover Winterfresh and Turbophonic. Because, yo, you see when Turbophonic dropped us, it was a, a mad, different ball game. A, ball game. A, a mad thing. Well on. Well on. You know what I say? Come for think about it. Travelers. Travelers. We help bus travelers. Mm -hmm. Because one of the year them, them give me a trophy for best cassette, man. Okay. We help bus travelers. Yeah, when... when when Malcolm X mm -hmm. I play Travelers. Remember I say Malcolm them on my link long time. When yes. he left Stone Love and go play Travelers. Me get all born in that the fire there too, you know. Because Malcolm X is like a brother to me. So anyway, Malcolm there, me I go there, but me good with every song. Mm -hmm. You understand? So Travelers with Boxer and, and Juxi Killer them, that era there. Yeah, me instrumental. If me is one of three. We at Boss Travelers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no. Again, that was and Travelers was another one of those sounds that just came out of nowhere and just had the place weak. Travelers and Jaro, Travelers and Stolo. Till I think them and Stolo of Ketchup, it was just Travelers Jaro. Travelers Jaro. Travelers Jaro. You understand? Every week that's what you're getting. A bag of travelers, a bag of Jaro, some Renaissance, Stone of and Base Odyssey. All right, let me just try this. Travelers not come from out of the blue. Travelers did them out long time. Marvin Chin them do one travel out. Mm -hmm. And then Kurt Matthews take it over. Kurt Matthews was like Donald Trump, money. Mm -hmm. You see it? So when you yeah, hear Bunty, you know, hear yeah, less than 40. When you yeah, hear Beanie, you know, hear yeah, less than 40. When I time them in a man, the man get, them get best sound system that year they in a Kingston, you know. Start a big rift between them and Stone Love, you know. Okay. Yeah, man, start a big, big, big rift. With them and Stone Love, man. Um, you did ask me about one question the other day. I'm mean, going to forget to tell you. One of my most memorable, or one of the most memorable, or a couple more, couple memorable dances. Mm -hmm. You'd have a dance to keep a Yowatan. You need to hear this. With Bass Odyssey and Bass Odyssey featuring Ninja Man. Ninja man just come out of jail. Glamour G, mm -hmm. Lenny, and Squinchy did have fire. Mm -hmm. You did have Mark, I never Mark. You did have. Um, Who, Tina One? No, not Tina One. Whether you tell him again, one? Skinny? Skinny! Mm -hmm. Because Skinny had a new protege and the man them a bun tune in the dance. Me and Bigger Top that a dance there. You a tan. One o'clock, no ninja man. 
2 o'clock, no ninja man. 2.30, me see a man come in front of his son. I say, yo, don't play no more song. Where ninja man there? The man say, so forward, man. The man give them a look, so. The man them basically put on a ninja man dub and I play. Yo, all of a sudden, yo, me just start here. Grasp my face and back and fling. Then you hear, like a gunshot of fire, yo. They have to kneel down there, yo. Back and fling for almost a hour. Upon the sound, you know. Beard splinter, you know. Me never know so me could have fallen up behind a beer box, you know. Look for a beer box. A beer in a beer box, me there, you know. Yeah. Up to this day, me remember that dance there. That is memory number. What are the number them? I don't want to put the number to it, but I want them. The next one now was Stone Love Kilimanjaro. Malcolm X and Freddy Cougar. Mm. Okay, so you were at this dance here. Yeah. I need, yeah. I need to hear your version. If I remember right. right, this is the dance that basically got Malcolm X off of Stone Love, if it's the right dance. It contributed, but it never get him off of the song. Mm -hmm. So, the dance keeper, Lawrence Tavern. Malcolm X, I'm a virgin. Live on Agazet. Freddie, I'm a virgin. Live a greater Portmore where me live. And Freddie, fearless. Malcolm X is Goliath. Mm -hmm. Freddie, have the song them. And basically, him is an understudy for Ricky Chupa. I used to play at Super D before that. Him bad, you know. Mm. But when him start, a jaro is a different type of braveness. So, Malcolm X basically a daring and Freddy attack the thing them. But Malcolm X don't like. It's almost like him a pressing button. So, I mean, I remember when Freddy said Malcolm X go over there and it's like a, a boxing match. You see, mm -hmm. me feel bad because the two man them are my bridging and I can't really set up, but it was a showdown. Yeah, yeah, it's a minago say, but it, it never looked good. And some man did it where basically say Malcolm X disrespect Freddy and the man them pop off and a peer gunshot start fire, you know. Yo, we lay down by the gun like. <laughs> Like breadfruit leaf, brother. Yo, the dance yeah. ramming out when the shot then start fire. You know, the peep, the dance empty, and no man go through the gate. <laughs> Every man jump over a fence, you know, man. Me don't know where Malcolm X turn, you know. Come mm here -hmm. and say, hold a big boy there. Me don't know where X turn. Me know say the whole stone empty. And the fence them flat. And when y'all look over a precipice, y'all look down, you know, me mm -hmm. I wonder, yo, where's so much man, yo? The first set of magicians I've ever seen in my life out of that dance. They can disappear, people are disappear. I mean, I don't know where they turn. Hmm. That dance there. Yeah. So that are like most memorable. So you can cut this and put them two parts the up there. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. Crazy, crazy there. Doing your stuff. It was a great run. Everything happened. So let's go to 2006 here now. So 06 came, you seen that the business had, cr was it the business crumbled or you in the business had crumbled at this time here? It was a collective. I'm sure other cassette man did I feel it, but as I said, me a giant. So mm -hmm. my downfall got more visible or noticeable to people who know, say, yo, Jones them that. Brother, ma got done, you know. My job won't start look like a T-square, you know, brother. My color bone, you know, say, you know. If rain fall in a mosquito breed up in this, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing come down. Mm -hmm. I find, I find, I find God, them time there. I'm not, not Christian or nothing, but I find one link with my God way. Different. Mm -hmm. Different, different, different. I don't think I ever got baptized. Because I find God without baptism. Mm. Brother, when the rough start get rough, you know. My brother was my only friend, Sean Swell. Love that youth there with all of my heart. Because some of my closest counterpart them. 
Then they start disappear like me have leprosy. Leprosy. Zin? Um, no girls. No girls. Girls, them disappear like me have age. I'm going to start learning how to pray. And prayer, them is sentimental, you know what I mean? I start all reverence, you know, I start finding ways to make time for God. I start, when I time to try to go out in church, and me that all a better vibe by myself, I start make some personal, like I start pray, like personal prayer, like Father God, may I come to you today in a prayer. And, you know, this idea number 50, I'm a dung fall, and may I ask you to search me and show me where I mess up so I can no longer mess up and help me to love you more than any other time, man. Help me to know say you are the only answer me have. Them type of prayer they like, deep and personal, and me they there are prayer, 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 and I never see nothing now go on and one at a time now end up I get mad with God this particular day. I say, Oh Father God, I come to you, but I don't have class now and I don't have to pan any. And you name God, you know, so you know what I feel, you know. Yo, I search myself, you know, I don't know what go down, you know, but nothing now work out, you know. So here we go go on. I know you go fix things, cause you name God. And I know you go come so and reset everything to like nothing never go wrong. Um, while you're at it, send somebody, an empress, so me and her can build. Send somebody where I'm compatible with and can go all together. I don't send an amen either, you know, because I don't name God. I saw the prayer go. Muscle. Two weeks after that. I meet my wife. And my wife was a customer of mine prior to that prior. Mm. Ten years she had buy from me. We never had a conversation more than what the new dance, which for a new mix, none of them things there. And when my job from my face, it was the only individual that was interested to find out what was going on with me. She was going through similar RTA because her cousin, who used to be the chaperone to bring her come by from me, got murdered in at the same time. So she was in Jamaica for the funeral and I got through a fair time. And she came to see me and drop off a magazine. Listen, listen, drop off a magazine with Vibes Car telling it. And Vibes Cartel mentioned something about me and that magazine there. She come drop off, turning at 18 years of marriage, wow. two kids, migration, life turnover back. But I level with me, can I have that conversation with you? I mean, I tell you about who do that. Mm-hmm. And God Himself do that. The only thing left for God for do, I for show me Himself. Because some things happen, if I not got to do it, I can't have nothing else. True, yes. So 2006, April 28th, I migrate. Mm-hmm. I'm coming here, so. And when I come here, so, it was a cultural shock. Because if people not tell you, visiting is different than residing. So I realize... You know, I hear one already. Tone, tone, tone. Uh, up to, you know, I hear them things. You know, I hear no bag of bad with that cuss, you know, you know, girl of cuss that way there. And you know, I hear as much dance hall, you know, I hear as much reggae. You have a playlist. Because when I come here, you know, the song at the time was Lean Back, Fat Joe. That was the song. And Jada Kiss and Anthony Hamilton. They have a song named Why, and them two songs. You hear them songs until me hate the song them. Every five minutes of them I play. I don't want to hear them no more. Mm-hmm. 
And then you have Bobby Candace and Jabba used to play on Sunday. And as so comes, you used to hear like a dance hall and them thing there. After that, you only hear like the hits them. Mm -hmm. Like the hot step uh, and the and the boom boom shot and the shaggy them and oh Carolina and boom but them song they are you know I hear you're, you're, you're totally removed from Jamaica mm -hmm. and the sea. And um I cry a lot of times, all the pie high water, you know, so I get homesick. And my wife said to me, say, um, nothing stays the same, not even bad vibe. See? And she was like, vice or reasoning. And then I start to hear about conscience, start to hear about idonia, start to hear about Black Rhino. All of them people, you know. Me meet them before me left, you know. Mm -hmm. Because Conscience was a group by the name Soldiers. Mm -hmm. Him and him brother Delos. Mm -hmm. And me get them first demo. So I come here and hear them bus. I don't know. Yeah. When I me meet him in the Princeville Plaza, seeing I want to shot you to use manage him. I get four dub up to this day, I can't find them. I don't know that, you know. I have four dub, but I can't find them. You know. Black Rhino, you know. the last time I came, I got a UA. Because I used to have water food, and I know him. Mm -hmm. When I see the whole of them man, they bust now, I start to get bitter. Mm -hmm. I start to hear you no know, music because it's not eat me eat music, but I hate so I not take part. So I stop listening to dance. So I turn to a big old. Grandfather, no, just miserable. So everything bad on it. Just there, they are miserable, man. No, 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 joy in there, no. I lack off all communication and me just there. So anyway, I work at one carpet store <laughs> over at Staten Island and a woman named Mister. And the, the job entail for display carpet and load and unload and all of that $7.50. So I went from everything when I tell you about cassette Jones to that, reduced to that. And it's humbling because I never want to do it, but at the same time, I never want my wife to yeah, take care of me as a man. I don't go away have, like a mama man, you have your man, you want a barber or a haircut or she, or you want a I don't go so. Mm -mm. So you don't know, I take me look at $7.50. But one day, the woman named Miss Turn said to me, Marlon, I want you to broom out the front for me. I said, what you say? She said, I want you to sweep up the front of the store for me. I said, listen to me now, man. I come here for hang up carpet, take down carpet, load and unload carpet. I need another broom up thing, you know. She stopped asking me, because I guess she see my face, because my countenance is not so approachable. So she see my face and my gear is still down, so she just love me. You know, winter, the woman give me, like a thousand flyer, mm -hmm. she got deliver. And when she give me the thousand flyer, she got deliver. At the first time me I run up in a racism, you know, mm -hmm. Staten Island, me there, you know, so me now want car park and me I put out the flyer them and all of that and me go put one pan a car. She say, you effy nigga, take that off my car. Yeah, I hear one voice. I'm dropping on myself, so I look around and the woman look like, like I see it and that. <laughs> and then it's scared and mm -hmm. she said, who oh, told her that he could put it on my car? I take it up fast. And she said, get out of here. And why? I fast as me cut out. Mm -hmm. Disappear. So upon the way now, I go back at the store. I find one rubbish pan and I just dash her the rest of the flyer there now. <laughs> the girl yes. story and she said, Oh, Marlon, you, you, you give out all of the flyer? I said, Yes, man. And I give out no flyer, I got my guard, I'm dead. I said, You can't work for that $7.50. Yeah. So one man he decides to me nah, go to work and the phone I ring. Mr. Marlon, you're not coming to work. I said, oh, Mr. I'm not come back and I work. You know. She said, Why? I said, Yo, The money too, a little bit, man. She said, How much money would be good for you? 
He said, $10, $50 could have worked. She said, what I can't pay you, that? Anyway, I said, I'm nah, not come back, you know. And by 9 o'clock, I'm over there, you know, because I realize the money now. <laughs> To change your mind quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I'm a turn up and when my dad is doing now, I get a call and my wife I tell me, say, oh, my mother in law, make a link of an organization where she work and them have a opening for a technician. If me interested. I say, yeah. So then she called me. I said, well, are you that interested in so on? You know, there's availability over one place. So are you interested? I said, what? She said, I say, yeah, man, and me show up on my daddy and I'm good at it. I never know that black Americans don't like people from the Caribbean. I whole heap of discovery, me and my kid. So I'm good at it and I up a brother named John Harris. I mm. call him name because anyway, I'm there and see that interview. I didn't know him is a fussy, <laughs> a real bulla cake. Yeah. So anyway, I'm me and me introduced myself. What's your name? I said, my name is Marlon. You know, Marlon. So okay, um, you know anything about audio? I say, yeah. Man say, okay, what cable is this? I say, oh, SLR, XLR to XLR, uh, male to female. I say, what is this? I say, RCA, male to male. What is this? I say, uh, eight of an inch to quarter. I say, what is this? I say, that's a TRS, tip ring and sleeve. That's the same quarter jack. Man say, okay, all right, you tick off him thing. Man say, you can put a PA system together? I say, yeah. The man came me go in a room, like a 24 by 12. And the most equipment I've ever seen in my life. The man say, me need a CD player. Me need a mixing board. Me need a microphone. And me need speaker. Okay. Pity me no know so them equipment there, are equipment where them discard. The CD player where me find, it now have no output jack, them pop off. See? Mm -hmm. But it have a headphone out. 24 channel mixing board, three channel of work. Mm -hmm. But you don't never know. A whole heap of speaker, all of them blow, or most of them. So I asked him to pen like a, a, a 9 volt battery. He gave me a 9 volt battery and I did have one iPad where you store music on. Mm -hmm. Go to every speaker and I touch it on it so you see speaker. Any one of them where you see push out so you know say good. Mm -hmm. Find one of them and put it down to the side. Find the mixing board with my Sharpie and mark down the channel them where I work. Get my CD player. Plug a jack in at the headphone. And uh, ours, like a quarter inch good and two RCA come out. Them split jack there. I'm going to run it on my channel. I'm going to connect my mic in my next channel. And then I'm going to find an amplifier now. It's a four channel QSC. One channel at work. I'm going to find it. Connect up my thing. And when I connect up my thing, Cue up my CD and do my little test and sit down so. Like a poor thing. The man come over and say, I need to hear something now. I put the microphone right in front of the speaker box. It is like this tall. This are the same height of the speaker box. I'm going to push the volume up on the mixing board all the way up. I'm just press mute on the channel. Now, I don't know if you're an engineer, but I know you're supposed to know this. Mm -hmm. If you take a mic and put in front of a speaker, what happens? Feedback. Okay. Mm -hmm. This man is at the head of the technical department. And you are telling me, say, you don't know this? So I just realized eh, he have a role, but he don't know nothing about it. Mm. Same time now, because I always make me feel, I basically just come so and press 
play upon the CD, well, you know, say so it have like a five second space before the music play, because a factory CD, I'm a walk with. Mm-hmm. Mostly, you said it go off. <laughs> Me and ball out, say, not so low. I definitely nearly death in a man. <laughs> Yo. Same time, I look at him and I draw down my volume. So, I look at me. Like him, I say, oh. So, then he look at me and he must say, can you work on Mondays? I say, yeah. Tuesdays? Yes. Can you be here four in the morning? I say, yes. First day, man, tell me for come to work. I did that for 12 o'clock. Because you don't know we're hungry, you know. Mm. So we show up for a job and everything went well. Um, I youth the daddy when he Chris Crespo, call him Conbred. He was the one where Janaris got to and I complained. I say, yo, him can't do the work, you know, but him accent too deep. I can't understand nothing that he's saying. So Chris looked at him and say, yo. You need for hire him, you know, because you fire the rest of the man them and this amount of work, I can't do it by myself, you know. So you say, if you're not hire him, I walk off of the job. Hmm. So this is the man that vouch for me and him don't know me, you know. And I suck him, they get that job there, you know. But listen to this now. Tell you, say, God don't like ugly. Mm-hmm. One day I go to work, and when I go to work, Chris said to me, say, Man, you can't go home, you know. Nothing that you have to do today, but we are going to pay for the day. Why, no man don't feel good like me, so I walk and go down Broadway. Walking and get a little better now, you know, because I get way more than what I used to get at the carpet store and I uptown and I do a little walking and thing. My phone start go up. When I look, a janitor call me. Hmm. Marlon, where are you? I said, I almost reach you, you know. The man said, already? I said, uh, yeah, my man was reach you, man. The man said, seriously, where are you? I said, I'm um, on, on 72nd Street. The man said, where exactly? I'm telling you. Five minutes time, the man pull up on my foot. The man have this frantic look and sweat. I wash him, you know. And I in a winter, you know. <laughs> so I wonder how you are sweat. So hear him. Um, you know to operate that mocking touch board? And I said, yeah. The man said, um, we have a walk through today, you know, and you know that that boy Chris left me. Chris gone home, you know, and he was the one supposed to do the walk through, you know. Um, can, can you just so go up there with him? Mm-hmm. Me, when I have nothing to do with that, my accent too thick. All of a sudden, he never hear a clearer voice. <laughs> him want my help now, so without the church. And we have a conversation. Mm-hmm. So, them are going to do their walk through. So, he must do a test first. So, he said to me, say, you know if you operate this board? I say, yeah. So, we are going to do a test. So, me now, say, you need to go test the mic so me can operate the board. So, the rules, them, it turn. So, I say, go to mic number one. Say, go to mic number one. I say, speak in the mic. Yeah. One, two. One, two. Yo. Muscle. This are the headroom for the volume. I don't get so me have it. And he must three and him say, one, two. One, two. One, two. And when time he get me hard satisfaction, me kind of push up the volume, say, yeah, yeah. He give me the thumbs up. <laughs> Yo. He said, next mic. Do him test. And... Do him, him test on the anel them and everything. And anyway, you know, the president of Venezuela did have come there at the time. And them PR person did have to come there, come do a walkthrough on this. Mm-hmm. Them rent out the space for 30 minutes. I better you never tell me how much money them charge in 30 minutes. Listen, from you say president of a country, we're talking some different set of money on a bus. Okay. So they got that money. Big money, man. And everything went well. So my daddy know I look like a please pussy. You know? 
with the look on my face, you know. So he said, um, Marla, you care for something to eat? I said, yeah, you need something, yes. He said, what you want? I said, I want a patty and cocoa bread. They might say, patty and cocoa bread. <laughs> Man say a simple thing that man, but no, no, we not do no party and cook. You want me say, oh, you take a chicken sandwich. Man say, chicken sandwich? I say, yeah, that I want. Man can go to an Italian restaurant. He say, oh, that's something I feel it. I say, I take a chicken. The man said, no, take something else. I love salmon, so I had a salmon, a mashed potato and some asparagus. When I did it, I eat it. I say, well, Marlon, thank you so much. You know that it wouldn't work out without you, and I'm so appreciative of what you did for me. And him, today I'm a talking thing, and I look at him and I say, all you. Hmm. Him, today I'm a chat, I'm a chat. Him, and say, yo, I'm going to raise your pay under one condition. I say, what? The man say, you can't tell cornbread what you're getting. Because you're gonna get the same amount of money, same amount of money that I'm paying Cornbread. So in less than a week, my thing double up. Mm. So then after like three years, my life turned around 360. When we're making at the 10 years a cassette Jones, in that three years, we get back two times the amount. Everything start work out and we start to sound free. Bill Cosby, before them call him, who them call him, mm -hmm. Stevie Wonder, Arabella Fante, Banky Moon, Sonia Sanchez, Bloomberg, Hillary Clinton. Bill Clinton, um, Tuskegee Airmen, Colin Powell, Charlie Wrangle, everybody who is somebody. Kanye West. What? We end up with sound for Kanye West, Max Roach. You'd have a brother when he Gil, mm -hmm. Scott, yeah. Aaron. Mm -hmm. And um, when Gil, Scott, Aaron died, we did a memorial. And um, when we did a, the memorial, you find out, say, um, Kanye West did sample Gil, Scott, Aaron. The album named My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Mm -hmm. And the song named Lost in the World. I think a number 11 part of the album. If you listen to the album, they listen to the song there. You hear Gil Scott Aaron talk about the revolution won't be televised. So listen to that story, I know. Gil Scott Aaron kicked the bucket and Kanye West come there and pay a tribute to him. So Kanye bring him engineer. Got a song they have all for auto tune in it. So they set up the system and whatever through our system. So right about right before him go do him tribute, the engineer come back. And when he come back at the board, me look for him and say, yo, you know say it's against company policy to have an outside engineer use the board. So you can't touch a board. It's our gear, so I have to do the sound. Yo, the man, piss off, you know. I'm around the board. And when Kanye I go up there, and me, I do the sound for Kanye, so I end up the sound for Kanye West. You see it? And, um, <clears throat> but though, many more events, many more events, and life just great. Life was great and couldn't been better. And then, mm -hmm. 2014, I just realized that uh, racism doesn't necessarily mean white against black, you know. 
you have enough black against black to, you know, cause a lot of American blacks don't like Caribbean blacks. So my okay. coworker at the time decided him need to collaborate with the other coworker then. Long story short, I lose the job and that style. God, them use corporate gray areas. Cause you know we as yard man if near you kick up. You say go your car you Ray, 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 ray. So they be used that uh, compile complaints and everybody basically put them signature against it and them use it to get me out and that style. Mm. Shortly after that, the department of eight, like a good three months after that, them clear the whole department because the troubleshooter was gone and them start mess up people event left, right and center. And then I drop back in a situation where I turn security guard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say, your life is so wild, bro. It, 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 it goes from left to right to everything in between. It's like, boss. But this time around, I feel like I was already well equipped for dealing with any thing will come away because nothing couldn't come through or come close to where at my Jamaica. Nothing. So if I want tin mackerel, we make that look like a five-star restaurant I serve it. You understand? Because we have, we're fine with self and we know we're God and we're strong up in ourselves. So we, 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 we move, we move like assertive. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start work uh, Red Rooster, as a security guard, it there, all them. See, so them a restaurant in the day at 11 o'clock, them a club. So, first night we go up on the job, you a security guard and they never give you a button. button. <laughs> 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 so, when the man them put me at the gate, <laughs> the man them put me at the gate, when I look at some seven footer people, I come they big and big like, like some bunks or football line. You know? So when them come at the gate, you know, I just move out of the way. You know? I make them go. <laughs> <laughs> so I hold on that job there until you don't know, I lose it. Because better, I never lose it, I left it because a better opportunity for her than I turn a stack associate. It's just a pretty name. Stack associate is just somebody who drive around and deliver things. Isn't it? But you want right. it so good, so I was a stack associate, you know? So, mm -hmm. then uh, the new environment, I'm just there and I deliver whatever, I learn the roots, them and all them things then. My second kid born. And I did the home with her for eight months. I want to tell you, say, I one of the best time of my life because out of all of my four kids, I she me really get to really pour everything into. Like me and her, I like this. Some of my life, them you might see she come there and she did beside me. A couple of them you might watch him that head that look up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she. She is like, you know what I mean? Is a duplicate of myself, you know what I mean? And um, so, I end up drop back in a situation where me I do my stack associate job one day and run up in a yard, man. And in America, I don't know if you know still, but where you buck up a fellow countryman is almost like the re a instant respect. One hundred percent. We're best of friends, right? All right. Best of so friends. So hear this, I know. Him all the elevator for me and I push in my box. Them. Because the box tall, say, you know, high up, you know. You know, the elevator and I say, give thanks. I say, yeah, man, everything blessed. And I look upon him, so. I say, yeah, yeah, man. He say, yeah. Because him accent no match how him look, you know. I say, which part of yard you come from? I say, I know Jamaica I come from. My parents them come from Jamaica. And I ask him, I say, I yard man still, man. So every time me and him buck up with us a chat. So one day I see him grease up and I say, yo, what kind of work you do? I say, yo, you know, 
Be a mechanic and look at electrical and everything. You say, hey, like what? You say, yo, them equipment over there, so. I mean, service them and you don't know where. I say, you go to college for this? Because I think everybody, they are fine, go to college for everything. I say, go to college. College? Maybe you don't high school. I say, what you say? Hmm. So, I say, what are them tell and them start tell me, say, a lot of sprockets and chain and them things. Remember, I tell you, say, I can make a bicycle, you know. Remember, you know, I'm sure you say, all of the dots, them, you know. Your whole life designed for you before you're born. So when me and talk about chain 100%. and sprocket and motor and them things there, I say, well, so I must say, yo, you can fix a bicycle? I say, yeah. The man say, you can fix a bicycle, you can do that work, yeah. The next question I ask him, so I say, oh, the money stay. The man say, money proper, man. That's all me the one year. So I said to him, say, yo, so, you know, and a link where me can get in. The man say, no. You have to go up online, go apply. All right. You see, all of them months that were me there, me get, uh, since I come here, 2006, me get computer savvy, resume, and this and that, and my wife a journalist, so my thing decorating now is an upgrade at June. So, any little situation, me, I just a left from corporate, so I get in our next corporate. Anyway, the man tell me, Say, I, I apply online. Anyway, I apply. I apply. I never get through. My vibe never broke. So, the next time I see this youth, man say, yo, transfer. I transfer. I say, where you go? The man say, Atlanta, I go. I say, which part? The man say, I cut. I cut, you know. I say, yo, but why do you link? The man say, I got introduced to somebody and I introduced me to a youth named Kurt Lewis. So Kurt Lewis now had a new link. My brethren get promoted. Raymond, Zane Robinson, big up yourself, gone. Our next state. And give me the information. And before him left, he introduced me to the man in charge. And me tell the man, say, yo, if me get the opportunity to be a part of them organization, we will sweep the ground. The man say, what you say? He said, if I get an opportunity, it should be a part of you. I need to do the sweeping. man say, yo, come over here, sir. Come tell the brother here this. man call the boss man out and say, yo, boss man, here we have to say. I say, hello. I was just telling Mr. Robinson here that if I'm given the opportunity to be a part of this organization, I wouldn't mind doing the sweeping. man say, okay, apply. Apply again. Turn me down. By this time now, I know we the book where you buy and study and I buy one book for $8. Never forget. I best $8 I've ever spent in my life. Read the book and read the book and then turn me down again and I just toss the book somewhere. So one day I get a phone call and I say, because Kurt now, I start to a pest to him now. Every minute I see him, you're my you, not yet. Man say no. I see me in the evening, nothing yet. I say no, I see me in the man. The man say, listen, no man, stop, come to me every minute, no man. I'm not done tell you. Every time I think about me, call you, man. Next day, mm. you're my youth. Nothing. <laughs> the man start. <laughs> <laughs> the man start, hide me out. Mm. I want to hear yeah. my reason, the man, I'll tell you, when I tell me, I think he's a stalker, you know, my youth. <laughs> you want, you all check me too regular. So one day, me get a call, the man say, yo. Then I go call you now. Mm -hmm. Then I look at my phone and the phone ring and I say, hi. I say, oh, uh, there's two opening here and uh, um, which day you want to come in? I tap study that book here almost seven months now, you know. So them say, we have Thursdays on Friday, you know. We have this Thursday on Friday. This mm -hmm. is the Tuesday I get the call, you know. Hear me now. Um, I'll take the Thursday. Because I never want, me no want to tell them Friday I missed the opportunity, so I take the Thursday. I come home, I tell my wife, I tell her, I say, yo, I don't want to see none of them you tell I dig up the book. And I study all Tuesday night, all Wednesday morning, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, I turn up nine o'clock. I turn at nine o'clock appointment. I did it like for eight o'clock. 
when I go to the point person, I don't see them. So I see some man they get attacked. So I say, um, and I'm here to see Mr. XYZ. By any chance, you guys know where he is? I was like, no. 8, 15. Them still attack. I say, um, I'm sorry. By any chance, you guys have any number can reach such person? I say, no. 8, 20. Disturb them again. Um, by any chance, you know anybody in this vicinity where no can find him? No. Let me see, 8.45 now, at 9 o'clock at my appointment, me just start sweat now, every way start sweat. I say, sorry to be a person now, but it's very important that we find this person because I was scheduled to come in for an interview and this is my point person. I mean, really need a number, a person, a direction, anywhere, anywhere, and somebody who know him so I can find him. Mm -hmm. And tell me no. My daddy and my lad, I start pace and I say, a man, get up and walk, come over. I stretch him on to me and say, hi, my name is XYZ. I'm the manager for the department. Mm -hmm. And that was your first part of your interview. We wanted to see if he was going to take the initiative to find such man. Mm. Carry me through all the security and carry me in. And when we woke up such man, yeah, such man, you're late. You should be here from X, Y, Z. Boss man look at him and say, eh -eh. you never did it for Kalek him. When me look, you know, such man bring him bread in, you know, for do the same test where me for do, you know. Mm. So such man basically abandoned me for give theme friend the blind. You know. And that's when I learned the word nepotism. And the first time he has where nepotism look like. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Anyway, he bring me over to such man, such man tell me, say, yo, it's a 70 question exam and you have 45 minutes and blah, blah, blah. Put my fist down. I say, put my fist down. Come say, and lock me eye and bust one of them. God prayer there, you know them prayer there, me at all, but just beg God say, yo, just take that penny, you know, I circle everything we right pan this one. You know. I mean, know you are God and you are God, do it, you know. Amen. Mostly, you don't know, say, when I skin over the paper, so, I the same exact thing I study for. Mm. Not word for word, you know, but, yeah. Brother, 10 minutes in, I see such man, friend, get up and hand in him paper. I take my time and go through my paper with a fine teeth comb, because you know the answer them, you might... Do a bag of foolishness, me do it proper. He said, pens down, pens down. Then put the two away, out of one place to go away. Then put the two away out there now. He said, them come and then call this a man here. Call him in. Same time now, me I start jump out of my chest. Me I say, if that boy I get that, if he get that position here, I must have 100 him get pandas. Because I know me get at least 95. After around 10 minutes, I said, then let's cut such man out and said, try back next week or next week. Yeah. Yeah. Same time now. Them call me in and call me in and they'll see you now. I'm going. I'm going there. I saw the boss boy, Wally Man. And he hold on for me and the man give me a handshake but in the show like go pop out the man the pan. And I say, congratulations, welcome. And he stopped himself. He said, how oh, you think you do on the exam? I say, well, I think I do fair enough. Because I drink the humble soup, you know, so I answer them. Mm -hmm. yeah. I say, I think I do fair enough. He said, you did extremely well. And because you did extremely well, we're going to interview you right now. My boss are fat, long like I-95, so <laughs> yes, I'll <laughs> over. <laughs> you see it? <laughs> then they are trying <laughs> yeah. to yeah. contain okay. myself and get myself together. So I'm say, are you ready? Ego start kicking now, hear me. I'm born ready. He said, what you say? 
We say yes, I'm ready now. <laughs> <laughs> the same time, them ask me a bunch of questions, and when them ask me a bunch of questions, them say, All right, so, uh, you know anything about mechanic? Remember, I said, used to go down, you know. We have a certificate in the art of mechanics. So, I say, Yeah, you know. Them say, Okay, so what is, uh, what is, uh, they start asking some questions, and I start answering them. Them tick off. Them ask me if I know what. I D stand for. Them say if you don't know, don't make a ass of yourself. Just say you don't know. But say I don't know. Them say it stand for internal diameter. So hear him now. Mm -hmm. You know what O D stand for? Me say yeah, outer diameter. Mm -hmm. Then him say you know what OSHA stand for? Me say well, not really. But I know they deal with regulations of workplace and make sure it's a certain thing within code and you're not getting technical uh, advantage of if you get hurt upon the job then make sure say you get um compensated xyz them say it not really but good enough the market has them hmm. um them say um them send me out of the room do them them do them delegating and this and that. Them come back in and said, um, congratulations. If you pass the background check and the drugs test, my tab smoke weed all long. So I know them now going to find nothing. I know no prior, I know no lock up, I know no history or nothing. So I know me good. So anyway, you say you have any questions for me before you leave? I say yeah, me actually have a two in one question. He say what a question? I say how long now have you been the manager for this department? He say five years. I say how long now are okay? So what has been your biggest challenge since you have been the manager? He say well, wow. Hmm. Well, to think about it, uh, my biggest challenge is to get the guys to work together as a team. There is no unity. I look upon him and I tell him, say, if I'm given that opportunity, I'm going to bring 150% every day and try to alleviate even 10% of that problem you have every day. The man hold my hand. I say, I'm going to hold it to that. You see me hear that? Oh, you're not giving me no job yet. Oh, you're not telling me no. I say, I hold it to that. So, my gut now, as I tell you, say, your gut tell me, me know something. Me just feel good about the situation. Walk out of the people, them interview, and I want to start running out of me like a pipe busting on my face. Anyway, my family out of the door, I wait for me to wipe off my face, and I go out there, and they ask me how I do, and I say, it's good and how it went. I say, all right, but. I can count the eggs them before I touch. I do, do that the Thursday, the Monday. I get a phone call. I said, they might give me temporary employment. Um, I, I, I test them, come back negative and blah, blah, blah. If I have accept muscle, I just a bar like a bitch. Just a bar like. Yeah, you are, I can't tap run. Will you accept me? Say, yeah, 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 yeah. Them say, um, when can you start? Can you start uh, Monday? Me say, um, can I say something? Them say, yeah. Me say, the company where I work with now, them hire me when nobody would not hire me. And I want to give them at least two weeks' notice before me leave because I don't want to burn the bridge and I don't have nothing to walk back across, so I just want to give them them two weeks notice and then after that, um, when we start working with them. So, 2017, September 18, I get a job where it better <laughs> than the job where I did lose. Hmm. 
So may I tell you about me and God now. It's like things that work out our way and God bless me. You know, we, we can we, God just bless me. So we and 2019 pandemic hit. And me and my wife have love as quarrel and we decide to me go in my garage and then we start play some mini this and start play some that. And the amount of dub when we hear. I say, you know what? But just open Pro Tools and start one session. He said, when I done transfer, a 400 and add dub in a muscle. What? 400 and add dub. So my bridging now, Rowan fellows, the same youth that they migrate. But they give me the Sony box them. And me and him they on the phone. And he must say, yo, Jones, you know, play some music pan line like how everybody the woman play music pan line. I say, I don't want to play no music pan line. One man say, yo, play some music, the man. And start telling me where we used to do tape clash and sound clash and this and that and start talking about that thing. And as I tell you, you're bridging them all, you see things in you where you don't see in yourself. 100%. So, Marks me and Kelly and Minter the on the phone to our next. Some, uh, somebody when I know, a childhood friend when I grew up with a marine park, they dip on the line, so the two of them in my years, and she know what the music are, so she named the real star now. Then I say, yo, play some music, no man, I'm here. Well, I'm playing the music, man. Anyway, I decide, so I go go live. So 2000 July, I go live the first time. And as I go live, I go live like four o'clock in the morning and everybody got in them bed. That's <laughs> 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 it. And basically, I delete it. I go to work. The next, like, they, they still have up on the job. So we go in and somebody texts me something. When they text me, it's a video of myself playing the music. And it, it look a certain way. It, it, it never look as presentable. And I say, but it's not too bad in on. Whatever. And then from them time there, it's like it was the days after was a Monday. So July 2000, the following weeks, we start go live. And this past Tuesday, we do my 150th week going live. I end up calling it mm. Gita name, Crossroad, just in rem Terminal. reminiscence of Crossroad and we merge it with my, my, my current profession and 20, 20, 2021, mm -hmm. we start collect some new dub to mix with the old one and I get in contact with Delhi Ranks. And Delhi Ranks deal with me one way away. I never know say people still. So, Shania win. The man I deal with me like I'm a brother. And I one encounter I ever have with Delhi Ranks, them time there. Okay. And yeah. when we did have the makeshift studio at Greater Portmore, after Cartel get up out of his studio and slam the door and take him phone and call the man to come into the vehicle because of that same compressor limiter there. Daily Ranks come there and the compressor limiter get the same problem. And you know what Daily said to me? This was my first rhythm now, 45 when I try to make. Them time them up as Steve and them, <clears throat> but the genius. It a give bag a problem. The man said, listen to me. If I even tomorrow you fix it, I not left until you fix it. I make sure my vice here today. Them time the daily ranks are daily ranks. Of Jiggy course. time and Eddie can who mm -hmm. now work with him. Work around them, Panicana. This bad man and fussy wall daily ranks. Have them status there, them time there. 
and I saw that man deal with me. And 2021, me come back up back in that same man. And I had the same vibes. I mean, never invest none of the time and energy in that man like the rest of whom I called here. Mm -hmm. So, we get the giggy with him from Bada General. Him our next personnel when we run up in a way, show me some love from Jamaica to Yasso. Like no time never pass. And Bada give me a cut of the giggy with him and I start cut some dub on it and Every week I hit me a play as my little thing and start put some remix on it and ideas start running and show Delhi wrong. So I say, Delhi, I'm going to make over the rhythm here. You know? And I say, who you going to get me to? I say, I'm going to link Suku, you know, I'm going to Suku and Suku and tell me some price. Then. Me you know I try and bargain with Suku and Suku and basically, you know, say, oh, that's my price. If you can't pay, just love it, you know. Call back Delhi and I tell Delhi what I go on. And Delhi say, yo, where you go? Yo? Where you just call Cleavy? Say, call Cleavy. No, sir. Then the man, remember, say, Cleavy, them was part of the alliance. We shut down the whole case thing. The man say, that's a long time thing, man. Man say, yo, see him number ya. Call him. I said this. I said that. I said this. And brother, as God has my witness, me do exactly where the man say. So, look call Cleavy. Say hello, Mr. Cleavy. I said, <laughs> Who is this? I said, Cassette Jones. The man pause. A long, awkward pause. I said, How are you? I said, No good. I said, A Cassette Jones. I said, I know who he is. You used to pirate your cassette, you used to pirate your music. <laughs> you think the man forgot? I know exactly who you are. But boss. he never said we know hostility. In a soft spoken brother. But you know them soft spoken person they were the, the, the lower them vices, it just sound more dangerous at them type of. Mm -hmm. So anyway, may I say, you don't know, uh, may I try and make back a step to the industry. I want to give back to the industry what I benefited from and you know, I wanted to ask you if I could have the permission to use what I read it. The man paused. And then he said, what should him that? And I said, the gigi read him. The man said, that I see a secret ground. And he can't do it because uh, he must steal them, create that read him there. And steal is no longer here. Me, I'm so rest in peace, Mr. Steal. So, him can do it. And a matter of fact, them read him their sacred ground. That how him said to me exactly. Then him pause again, my long awkward pause. Then him say, you know what? I'm gonna do it for you. You know why? Because you are the only person who ever call me and ask me permission for you as anything. And I respect that. So I'm giving the stipulation then the stipulation tick like a phone book. <laughs> yeah. Peel over the rhythm. And 2022 January, I drop my first rhythm. Cassette Jones Gigi. And it have 20 songs. 19 songs it have on. Spraga Benz, Wayne Wanda. General Degree, Elephant Man, Two, two Delhi Ranks, Galaxy P, Pada General, Talop, Red Rat, The Real Storm, Daddy Da, Natel, Intrigue. Like, I don't want to miss out nobody, but Mystic Soul, you know, it's, it's, it's like, when me, when me drop that rhythm there, we any wonder, like, when me end up drop the actual rhythm, the day when it released, brother, it's like, me in a disbelief. Mm -hmm. It's like, me can't believe, and most of the artists, them, them just bless me. Them bless me in a way where me never know, say, people still have them goodness, they in a them Spraga Benz, I one of them, 
was always a big brother figure for me. Mm -hmm. Always there. And at them times when I tell you something, I drop down or I dip on my face. He was one of them man that never show me no face yet, never judge me yet, and always a encourage me. So for, up to this day, he was one of them man that where I have an astronomical amount of respect for just because of who he is and how he always deal with me. A big brother, I call him. You know. For sure. Yeah, and um, November, November 2022, November 18, 2022, I dropped my second reading, Survival German. Still, I play music and start collect back music and start dive deep back in the music and me see many changes and me see what they must say yo Afro beats I do this still me build me little thing me start play out me get six dates and me take the date money and me buy equipment and me start back my journey now so me just say that. May I say all of this to say? So you know God for yourself and you have a dream or a passion for anything at all. Just put some pressure upon some prayer with your passion then. And just watch God just do be things, even you yourself, if you're not all firm by your feet. You give up halfway. So me not no regrets. Because everything that I experience when somebody is in a call, don't fall, basically give me my glory today. I mean, it's a living testament to prayers, prayer work with all the women tell you. Prayer work and God real. 100%. Yeah. Listen. Throughout your journey, it, it seems like one, two things that kept you going all the time. Prayers, yes, but as in what you did. One was passion and two was curiosity to always know, how could I make this better? What does this do? How could I do this? It's just, that's a recurring theme in your life. Passion and curiosity keeps you going with the prayers that you keep putting up there all the time. Yeah, my muscle. God a God, you know? God a man, 100%. man. <laughs> no, it's just it's just amazing to hear your your journey and what you've been through because again, you hear the name, Cassette Jones. It's it's a worldwide name. All right. Anybody that's bought a cassette, a stone love, a metro media, bodyguard, turbophonic travelers, city rock, a live stage show, anything, you're synonymous with that name. You know that name, but again. We just know, okay, up at one point, cassette stop selling. You just fade into the background. We don't know where you're at, what's going on. But again, remember, you live a daily life. Every day, something happens in your life. You understand? It's just, we don't know what's going on. And for you to sit down and have this massive story, how things just work. You work for seven fifty at a at a carpet <laughs> store, and then you went up and up and up and up until, remember, from seven fifty to now, being an engineer to con for Kanye West. What you see how big of a difference that is, boss, in the same country. Mm -hmm. First selling cassettes in Jamaica, yeah, whatever. Something happened in a dance. Okay, cool. Got to America. Now everything crushed out in Jamaica. I was selling, I was at a carpet shop for seven dollars and fifty cents, boss, until I was doing engineering for Kanye West. Boss, if there is not God. <laughs> oh boy, sir. <laughs> if nobody understood what you went through, they couldn't believe that there's a guy. Boss, what you went through and how you got here is nothing short of spectacular and amazing, boss. Yeah, man, give thanks, man. God, really, you know? <laughs> yeah, man, God, if, really, man. <laughs> and just the way how you put it, especially when you met your wife, you said, listen, I'm not going down on my knees, I'm not clasping my hands. I'm kind of mad right now, but I'm just going to say what I'm saying. I'm going to say a hundred percent from my heart and things just started to turn around. Those kind of testimonies are amazing. Boss. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. 
Yeah, that year uh, I'm going to make 20 years now, we're married, you know. Yeah, that year I'm going to make 20 years now. 20 years, we're dead together and 19 years married. That is so amazing. And again, it just goes to show that a lot of times our life is, our life is laid out already, you know. It's whether you make a left choice or a right choice is where you're going to go in this life cycle that's planned for you already. Mm -hmm. But it just goes to show, as you said, your wife originally was your customer mm -hmm. for a long time. And then she was the only one that came back and cared. Brother, who you think I got there? I know them. Yeah, who you think I got there? I know them. But as I said, things need to happen so you can see clear. Because sometimes where you think is, it's actually not. And where you believe mm. are the farthest thing from the truth. See? And them say, oh, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Because when people depend on their face, are the best them gain. Mm. You see me? So, but that's there I said we, but they have to encourage said we. I have bridging with my mentor. I have my son where I try to build back a, a oneness with. You know what I mean? I have co-workers who are younger than me. And I don't no preachy preachy. I love you for being who you be. If you ask me, I give you the advice. You know, but I know my personal experience, it kind of, it's still a propel me. I still have ambitions. I still have Still, I work on this music. I still have things where me, me aspired to do. I still I watch youth and youth, co workers of mine, I go great, you know, in the business, said we. Some of them me and them close, some of me and them not close, but inspiration from all about. I still love my country. I still have memories from them time till now where it still have fueled me to this day. I still have dreams and hopes that things can go back to somewhat of how we grow. But still I hope say other cassette man start emerge from out of wherever them there and start tell them sky we all that we have a story in a fam. Cause when of you course. tell me say yeah cassette man you know I they say your respect go up in you know? I respect you a long time but when they say well and is a cassette man this so and that in it morphs into that and me want to see some more you understand, I'm a, we can have a, 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 a collective where we can say, all right, then mm -hmm. we know what we stood for and we at this age, you know, what country, where we can live with the world type of thing, where we can build this virtual library to kind of give them youth and youth who are forward, like you don't know, source to kind of show them how certain things for partner, structure, and whatever, whatever they need, go and make it available to them. To say, all right, then, you know, say, the cassette men, them gave back to the culture this way and this way. Like, I, I guess on my mind in terms of, like, a link up. So this, this are like with ambition. So we put it out in the atmosphere with all our faith and, 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 and belief in a God behind it. And just know, say, it got me. If I never with we, Probably with you, them, or somebody who are listening to this. Somebody. Yeah. For us, no, say, yo, they made a contribution. But I, I tell people this. People see me, a lot of people think that I just appeared like three, four, or five years ago, whenever they discovered me on YouTube. I tell people, listen, this journey of mine has been a 27 year journey from April 1st, 1996 until today right there and everything that i've learned in the business from playing sound promotion selling tickets selling cassettes tape and dance every single solitary thing i've done in the business led me to this point right now where i'm sitting down behind this microphone everything i've Stupid. done this is where it led me Stupid. you understand mm. <laughs> this doesn't mean this is a final destination this is just another turn in the whole path of things that I do. Yeah. You understand? Yes, right. mm -hmm. Yeah. No, this was, this was a, an amazing conversation, especially seeing it from a 
Kesset man type of lens. You understand? Mm-hmm. Because, okay, yeah, you talk to the artists, you talk to producers, you talk to dancers, you talk to everybody, but uh, somebody else that was doing the exact same thing and knew that feeling of taping a dance and as soon as it's end, you running home to go home to set it up, to put it back on the road. Nobody understands that feeling except for another cassette. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, man. I, yeah, when I come on language. When you told me about the, what? When you told me about the jar, the, um, the um, King Addies and Jarrow dance, the way how you had set up 1,500 each and you're ready to go. Boss, I know that feeling because those are things we did. You see when World Cash used to come mm-hmm. around, rich. Mm-hmm. Yep. You see when World <laughs> Cash dropped, we're rich. <laughs> when there were certain things that dropped, you're rich because you knew that feeling. You knew this is what they wanted because we were the internet before the internet. We were Spotify before Spotify. We were Apple Music before Apple Music. We were basically running toe-to-toe with the radio and the television at one point, you know, boss. Yes, I... We helped form and build a culture. We were part of the movers and shakers of the culture, even though a lot of times we were just happy to be doing our mm-hmm. part. But when you sit back now and look at the bigger thing, we helped. We were part of it. Cartel could have DJ till he was weak in Port Moore. Mm-hmm. If there was nobody to record it, nobody on a stage show to see it or anything, it would make no difference. You could be bad little more. Yeah, Mark. It's the help and the bits and pieces and the moving parts that we contributed mm-hmm. to help form this business where it is. Yes, I. Thanks, man. You know what I mean? Muscle. Gratitude. Manners. No respect. Back a respect. Back a respect. Back a respect for everything that led you to be doing what you're doing, to reaching to me, for give me a platform, for share my journey, for get to know you on a basis. Like, I feel like I do a time travel just knowing you. Because I exactly. never, I don't know not more muscle till pandemic. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And I say a lot of things in this interview where people would shame us. Mm-hmm. And I don't no shame in my game. You know why? Because we are people. We're imperfect. Mm. So if somebody come out decorated and like them, never ever fought yet in them life, I lie. Mm-hmm. I want people to know, say, yo, imperfections. See? And determination, consistency, and faith, and continuously trying to reinvent yourself and make you a better version of yourself what you was 20, 30, 40 years ago. Don't stop trying being your better version. Mm-hmm. Not ever stop be a, try to be a better version of yourself. And from God debout, which him got debout for eternity, you have that chance to make yourself a better version. Yeah. So I saw where I got in it. Just enough love, enough respect, all the best going forward. Great health, fitness for make wife is still happy when we hold said we. Because with all the way I go on the world, brother, peace of mind. Now, anything will make you feel good, and the people will make you feel good. You in return make them feel good too. See? One God. You understand? No, no. One hundred percent. Listen, leave something there. Leave some information where they could check out your show on Tuesday nights, where they could hit you on Instagram, where they could send you an email. Any information right now where they could contact you? Leave it right now before I get you on. All right. So, the email address: a cassette Jones LLC at gmail that is C-A-S-S-E-T-T-E-J-O-N-E-S-L-L-C at gmail.com that I'm an email. I'm an Instagram is cassette.jones. My Twitch is cassette Jones music with a V. I the angle him that. My phone number is somewhere out there. Mommy don't want to give it out and ask that. You understand? What it out there? 
You understand? And if people want to link me with a over your side, them can link you. Cause he has, he's a link now, you know. So they can link you for link me. What? Vice versa, if me know nobody will want to mm-hmm. link you, me with us. Give you the plug, said we. So I them three angle right now. You know? Yes, I. What are that, man? Drones, thank you so much. I couldn't I couldn't ask for a better conversation and uh, the ups and downs in life and the honesty and the lens that you brought. Thank you so much for sitting down and doing this today. Thank you also, Mr. Mosin. And as a man, as a lead. You know what I mean? Let me give you an outro and get you out of this wicked, epic, two-part conversation. You understand? Yes, right. <laughs> Bob, well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two-Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out. Why not? This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com.